Hey guys, so in today's video I'm going to show you how to get this really, really nice um, eyeshadow look using the blue-brown pigment. And to start off, I just laid down a skin tone color. It's actually a little lighter than my skin tone, but I just use this color as my base, kind of like to give everything else a clean canvas so I can work on. Then I'm going to go into this brownie, ready, uh, it's a difficult color to explain, but you see what it looks like. Just something similar to it. Something that you like putting in your crease as a transition color. And I just like this one. And this palette is the BH Neutrals 28 palette, I believe, or eyeshadow palette from BH Cosmetics. And I absolutely love this palette. Now I'm just going to go in with an even darker, reddier, bricky color. And I'm taking that into the inner portion of the eye and then on the outer crease. Kind of making my eye into a sandwich. I just really liked the concept of a sandwich on the eyelid with either pigments or glitters or anything like that. So I'm just gonna be taking that and blending it out as much as I can without taking it too far up over my crease. And again, this is just the blending process and applying, and I do apply little by little. And then I go into an even deeper brown, more of like a black brown or gray black brown and just define the crease even a little more than that. And blend, 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 like always, blending is key. After I'm done blending, I'm gonna take the glitter glue from Too Faced and pack that onto the, just the center part of the lid where I'm gonna be applying the pigment. And I, you do wanna work fast with this, so I apply glue and then apply the either glitter or pigment onto that eye and then I'll move on to the next eye. So work one eye at a time when using this, um, this glitter glue pigment. Look at how freaking gorgeous that pigment is. Please, please, somebody tell me that it is not beautiful and I will punch you in the face. I'm just kidding, no. But it's seriously super, super pretty. Really, really love it. I just, I don't know, I just felt like it was the perfect wearable blue for me because being a dark skinned girl, blue does not always look its best. Or at least in my opinion, it doesn't always look its best on us. So this glitter blue brown pigment definitely, definitely hit the spot where I wanted it for a blue pigment or a blue eyeshadow or blue look, whatever, you know, something blue. Then I'm gonna go back into the ready deepy brick color and then the gray black brown color and just again blend and define that crease and the inner portion of the eye as well always go back with your shadows then taking the Revlon um, I think it's called the I don't know I showed it it just helps um, to prevent creasing under the eye and it fills the wrinkles in your eyes I, I can't remember what it was I think it was like wrinkle filler or under eye filler or something like that just taking that under the under eye area to make sure that my concealer goes on super nice and clean canvas. Then taking the Match Perfection by Rimmel Concealer, and this is in the shade medium. It is a little dark, I know, but I use it because it definitely, definitely conceals every, every dark spot that I could possibly have on my face. And I just love the way it looks on my face. I don't know, that's, I, this is what's been working for me, or as far as I'm concerned, it's been working for me blending it out with the beauty sponge like always and then mixing my MAC Studio Fix Fluid in NC30 and my Pro Longwear in NC30 and I do this because I love the coverage that the NC that the Studio Fix Fluid gives me but I love 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 the finish or not the finish but the the way that it, my skin stays matte with the Pro Longwear but if I use one or the other it's too oily or too dry so I try to mix them but usually I stick with the stick the Studio Fix Fluid because it's just overall best. I don't know. I love that foundation. I will never, 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 never go to another one. And yes, I know my eyelash is popping off, but now I'm going to be taking the concealer and I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. It had been a good minute since I used this concealer and I had totally forgotten why I loved it so much, so I'm starting to use it again. I just love the way it covers everything and I just packed this on and this is a lighter concealer, so I packed the packed on a little bit just to brighten that under eye area and then setting everything with my banana powder from the Anastasia contour kit like always I have been loving this product and I mean I bought it might as well use it but honestly it is really a good product I love just the banana shade though and then setting my face with the wet n wild pressed powder not the best powder but like I said trying to use up all my makeup products because I have them and it's there's it's pointless to just have them sitting there now taking my Mineralized Skin Finish by um, MAC and Medium Deep and bronzing up my face. Not necessarily contouring, but just bronzing. And I have been loving, loving, loving this as a bronzer. It's seriously the best. And 
then just taking some MAC blush. Um, again, same blush I used in the previous video. Love it. And I still can't remember the name off the top of my head. And then taking this Justin Bieber by or Essence Highlighter by Justin Bieber or whatever. I don't know. It has Justin Bieber's name on it. Um, to highlight and to um, just bring, eyes, bring out the eyes a little more. And it's more of a pinky shade than anything as a highlighter. So I took that. And then for my lips, I took the um, City Color Be Matte Lipstick in Cappuccino. My absolute favorite lipstick of all time. Which is the perfect color. So that's it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.